Hey, this is Carlton with Vote for CarltonWalker.com. I'm here at the courthouse, and it says up here where law ends, tyranny begins. William Pitt. Um, so let's talk about this. Currently, we know this is a fact here at the courthouse. Your Sixth Amendment right in family courts and your Seventh Amendment right is not being upheld. And we are literally here at the courthouse building. And I figured I'd come down here and talk about this. And right there's the probate court. So as your new representative, House Seat 15, it will be my job to make sure that, like that sign says, uh, when law ends, tyranny begins. When did they stop letting you have the Sixth and the Seventh Amendment in family court? That would have been 1976 when family court was started. Before that, it was magistrate judges uh, in the county that would determine, um, and you could ask for a jury trial for your divorce and uh, stuff like that. And I gathered that information from old lawyers uh, that were around back then um, and how the courts would work. So the whole issue here is I want to give you guys fairness. In this court, that's the probate court, and in this building right here, the family court. Um, you should have the right to ask for a jury trial for any action. And here's my um, theory on this, and a lot of lawyers will say, no, you can't do this, and get, give all kinds of reasons. I don't care what the reason is. The people should have the power to determine their own fate. I don't understand why that's such a big issue, why they can't understand this. One of the issues, think about this for a second. You can ask for a jury trial for a $25 seatbelt ticket, but you cannot ask for a jury trial for your child's future. And you also cannot ask for a jury trial for anything in family court. And it is clear, DeMarco versus DeMarco, that case law, says that this court right here violated the Sixth Amendment of our Constitution. Myself, as a fourth-generation veteran, I will not stand by and let that happen to any of us, including myself. Like it says, when law ends, tyranny begins. Let me explain this. Since you cannot have a jury trial, there is favoritism and nepotism in judges' decisions. They are making rulings on, based on which attorney they like best and not based on the facts. And if you're a new lawyer in Charleston County or any county in the state, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. You've had cases where you had all the evidence in your uh, client's favor and you went it before a family court judge and the ruling came back so asinine. You were like, how did that just happen? I'll tell you how it happened because the judge likes that lawyer better than he likes you as a new attorney. So this is Carlton with VoteForCarltonWalker.com for House Seat 15. I promise if you put me in the game, you will be my coach, and I'm telling you right now, I'm so excited about running for office for House Seat 15 and making that place a better place for all of us, and including this place right here, probate court. So the Sixth and Seventh Amendment, every citizen in the state of South Carolina and the United States deserves a jury trial for any action in any court. That is my opinion. That's also the opinion of the Sixth and the Seventh Amendment of our Constitution. If it's civil, anything over $25, you have the right to ask for a jury to decide that fate. That probate court right there determines estates, like hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, where it's going. You should be able to ask for a jury to decide where that money goes instead of a judge that is set with, oh, I'm gonna side with this lawyer, or I'm gonna attach a guardian to the case. The guardian's gonna alienate all the family from the loved one, exhaust all the resources, turn in bills of $20,000 a week, and exhaust the case where the guardian gets $450 an hour. That's gonna stop under this guy's watch if you put me in the game. So vote for Carlton Walker. This November, uh, actually it's June 11th of 2024 and then November of 2024. I'm super excited. I know you see this little fancy ring flashing on my fingers. That's my Hall of Fame sales uh, ring for selling Cutco. You put me in the game, I will sell everybody on why it is fair for every single citizen to have a jury trial in family court and in probate court. In the story, I'm working for you guys. 
and I appreciate you watching. Like I said, we're here at the four corners of law. It's time that we enact jury trials in all courts, the probate courts and the family court and in tyranny in our state. Thank